Now let me show you in this short session. For example, if you have some in which uh, there are different personalities and you want to animate it like this, for example, and then the name appears, and then it goes to the next person, or to the third person when you are explaining. And you just don't want it to be like uh, just one picture like this and you want to add some this type of animation so that also we can do with the morph uh, as i explained in the previous session also which i have already uploaded but as i told you that for morph the same picture should be repeated in the next slides also the same one apply such animation which takes you to that specific person which you have highlighted in a specific picture in here also i did the same thing i just added this picture and um, uh, duplicated the same one and the uh, back end one i just applied that color with the gray one and kept this original one on top of it then i duplicated the same slide here and here what i did the first picture i selected and cropped it cropped it to a shape and here i used the circle shape so now for example if i click this so here you will see i have used a circle shape here uh, with cropping now in the next what i did i just control d came here click it go to picture format crop and just select this crop and take it to the next person and then control d and we are also click it do not drag this rectangle otherwise otherwise you will be selecting the whole picture just go to picture format and crop select crop and select that crop picture from there and adjust it to the third page that you want to highlight in that specific slide now i did these i made these uh, three slides and then what i did i just selected the second third and fourth animation uh, sorry transition and morph i selected morph so in that way when i did this so what i got here i got this type of animation click it so here this one is then the next one and then the third one and you see you can add this text also and when you apply the move option so this text will also be shifting to the next picture the way tangle the way the circle is going uh, and focusing the next one for example let me show you it 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 goes like this originally it's like that now here you see the name is also appearing there then when you go to the next one so that name also goes there and when you go to the third one so it will appear like that similarly when we are using characters for example if i want that this character should come first then in the next slide should go there and then in the third there so if i just keep this one picture here and then there and here and do not apply more so how will it looks like let's see this 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 now if i apply the morph now let's see here it is you see the morph function is taking it that where you want this picture to be appear and in the third one it's going like that if you visit my channel so you will see the sessions on microsoft excel powerpoint windows uh, online kobo forms microsoft forms google forms and many other sessions so go there watch uh, all these tutorials comment like and share with your friends and family members 